Missing the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Snacking with Ortega. I'm your host of Extraordinary Magnitude, Ortega Latrobe, and today we're doing Ohio specialty. We're doing BK Spanish sauce for Spanish dogs. Folks, if you like what we're doing here, the best way you can support our channel and help it grow is to give us a like, share, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe. What is a Spanish dog, you may ask? Well, I would say the Spanish dog is like a cousin to the chili dog. It's a sauce that's easily spoonable onto the dog and it stays there when you eat it. And look, we can do a whole discussion about the chili dog and whether there's beans in it, whether it's the Coney sauce from Detroit or Cincinnati style or whatever, and you put it on the spaghetti and whatever, they got, whatever. You call chili whatever you call chili. Where I'm from and where I grew up, chili was a nice soupy stew with a lot of beans and meat and vegetables in it. Now, you go to Cincinnati, it's just a meat sauce. You go to Coney sauce and it's, they don't necessarily call it chili, they call it Coney sauce, but then it's just kind of the same thing as down there, which is a little bit of mixed different ingredients. And the thing is the Spanish dog is kind of like both of them, except it's a little sweeter and it's a little just simpler, I guess. I don't know, I had it, I fell in love with it, so I decided I was gonna try and recreate that BK Spanish sauce here today. So we're gonna get going on this sauce. When it's ready, we're gonna slap it on some dogs and see how close I can come. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering what the ingredients are. Let me tell you. Water, ground beef, finely minced onion, good old chub. For the seasoning, just some chili powder, a little salt, a little black pepper. I'm gonna finish it off with just a splash of white pepper. Take your beef, put it in the pan. Now, just grab yourself a spatula and break that up. Currently, there's no heat on this pan. We're gonna break this burger up cold. We're not trying to brown it. Add your water to your burger. Put your burner on simmer. And we're just gonna slow cook this and break it up nice and fine. Yeah. Let that burger go for about three or four minutes just till it starts to turn color and then you're gonna add in your onions. Remember, we just wanna get this meat super fine broke up, get that fine grind as we do. You want this lumpy, you want it saucy. Those onions have been going for about three, four minutes now, so we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. And stick. Make sure your seasonings and your ketchup is well mixed into your meat. This is already looking really, really close to what I was wanting to see, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna give this a preliminary taste just to see where we're at right now. I think once this cooks down, it's gonna be pretty damn close to what I'm looking for. I'm coming for you, BK. Now, we want this to reduce down to the proper consistency. We're just gonna half lit it up, check it on every 10 or 15 minutes, give it a stir to make sure it doesn't burn or scorch. Spanish dogs, we love to make them. We love to eat them. We like to have them chewing in our mouths. All right, we're back. It's been about 45 minutes or so. That sauce is cooked down exactly how we want it. Not quite sloppy Joe or man, which thick a little thinner than that. So it kind of hangs onto that bun and hangs on that dog a little bit better. So none of it falls off and gets a mess on your shirt. You know what I'm talking about. Before we go and give our taste test, we gotta do one more thing. That's it with a splash of that vinegar. Just to brighten everything up and waking it up. So, gonna grab myself a spoon, get myself a good bite and see how we did. Hell yeah. We know we did good on the sauce, but the true test is gonna be when we get some on top of a good old hot dog. Steamed bun, steaming weenie. Lay on that Spanish sauce, brother. Look at that beauty. Look at it. Look at it. If I didn't know better, I think I was at fucking BK Root Beer in Troy, Ohio right now. Joe Evans, this is for you, buddy. Thank you for introducing me to this stuff. See how we do, man. See how we do. Mm. Oh man, it's a good top quality dog with a just lovely flavorful sauce. 
It's got a little sweet to it. There's no heat or anything. It's just, uh, it works so good with the dog, man. You know, I've had a lot of chili dogs and different stuff in my life, but I think this might be the way. Um, <laughs> Yeah, super simple recipe. You know, you make a, a batch like this, you can, you know, make a dozen dogs probably, feed some friends, make a bigger batch, have a party, take it to, I don't know, take it to a potluck, show up everybody, who knows? Show up at your fucking friend's barbecue and be like, oh, you're just grilling hot dogs, check this out. <laughs> boom, kaboom, bang, shake, bang, boom, boom, boom. Everybody's going fucking crazy, man, because they're going nuts over this Spanish sauce. I don't know I am. All right. Glad I heated up more than one dog in that pan. Thanks for stopping by the Hacienda and spending your time with us here today. This has been Spanish Sauce, Spanish Dogs. I've been Ortega Latrobe. You've been snacking with Ortega. I'll just give it a minute. It'll sink in. Spanish Dogs. I love to make them. I love to eat them. I love to taste them chewing in my mouth.